Catherine, what's your secret to building trust? Because I think anyone in business would say, oh, like you have to have trust to build relationships, et cetera. You've obviously been very successful at it more than most. How do you build trust? A variety of ways. I'm not in this job for the money at the end of the day. Yes, I like to pay my bills and I want to live a nice life and have this. But I do this because I love what I do. And I do think that comes across when I'm talking to people. Um, And when I'm talking to a prospective hiring manager or somebody who's looking for a new job, I talk to them the same way. It's about learning what they're looking for. How, what type of value can I provide? Being honest about where my limitations are. My favorite calls are when I talk to some top talent that's about to enter the market. That's like that MPC caliber talent, any type of level. And I can get into really having a, what I call my strategy session with them, where it's not about me getting them their next job. It's about identifying what they're looking for in their next opportunity and being part of that process. And I'm very honest by the fact that I am just a piece of the process, right? Most people get their jobs through their network. And that's just an honest fact. So I'm just part of it, but I like to be involved in the process, give them some unbiased feedback or discussions or ideas. My belief is they don't need me to be marketing them or talking with people where they already have relationships or connections. I'm here to leave no stone unturned. And I think when, I, when you have those types of discussions and you, it's not about the money in the end. I tell them, I look, hey, I just want you to get your next opportunity. And then I want you to think of me when you're hiring for your next team, right? That's where it is. So it's not about that immediate payoff. And when you get rid of that only thinking about the transaction, people let their guard down and they just get to like you and then use your personality. And I'm, I think I'm fortunate to just break through with a lot of people just through my conversation style, or maybe it's my self-deprecating humor. I have no idea what it is. But usually once I have these discussions, you build a relationship that's strong. And it turns into and it pays dividends long term, much more than that one placement would have paid. 